Arkansas State has not played any opponent in their history more often than they've played Memphis. And we are underway. And this will come out to the 25-yard line. I just start. Memphis may have been caught with too many players on the field. They were trying to hustle a player off. Jay Adams with his first catch. And play action for Bonner. And he finds Reed Tyler, who lined up as an H-back, snuck out of the backfield. Diamond formation on second down and two. Right up the gut into the secondary. And picking up a first down is Jamal Jones. A good start. He gets the call again. He's got solid yardage again. Play clock down to five. There's a quick hitter and an easy pitch and catch first down. Another catch by Ogbabor. Logan Bonner at quarterback in Arkansas State off play action. He's going to take a shot to the end zone. And with one hand, Jay Adams almost pulled it in. Looking for a flag. It comes in late. And he certainly earned that one. Watch Adams here. There's a little bit of an extension with that right arm. But what happens is Oliver drags that right arm. That Arkansas State wastes no time. Blasting up the middle. It's Graham. And he's in for the touchdown. What an impressive opening drive by Arkansas State. 15-yard lock. Nice cut back into the secondary, Kylan Watkins. Control he has over this offense. He basically has freedom to do whatever he wants, and it shows up. He's always getting them into the right play, the right situation. Straight handoff to Dre Clark. Nice cut back and a spin move to midfield. COVID concerns. And this one, Coxie pulls in, picks up about four. The coaches and all the players, they all have to get better and be better this year. Sitting down is Sean Dykes, the tight end, and he's got a first down. He would say, this college football season's not for me, but it opens the door for Dree Clark and others. And here's Brady White with an open door. Quarterback run, and a slide down to the 21-yard line. Specifically in the run game. Dree Clark breaking tackles. First down and goal. Off communication or mechanics, quarterback to back. Kylan Watkins back in. Instead, it's a lob to the end zone. Dropping it in perfectly is Brady White to Sean Dykes for a Memphis touchdown. Quarterbacks deserve to play, and we will see both. And here's Hatcher to throw. He's going to take a deep shot down the sideline. Underthrown a bit, but eventually it finds its way all the way down. Some playing time. And he has earned a chance to get out there tonight. Now being helped out by Jamal Jones again. That's a first down run for Jones. I thought they should take at least two a quarter. That's three right now. Nice bounce to the outside by Isaiah Azabuki. And he powers his way down. Goal to go situation. Why not? Azabuki to the goal line. Reached the ball out. And the ball may have come loose. What are they going to rule here? It looks like the officials are saying down at about the half yard line. Big powerful run by Azabuke. I think that's a touchdown. There's no elbow on the ground. You can't tell me his knees on the ground. My ego. After video review, after video review, result of the play is a touchdown. Completions early in this drive. Straight ahead run. Rodriguez Clark. Is able to drag tacklers. Second quarter with Memphis lining up in a wildcat formation. The direct snap to Kylan Watkins, and he's got the first down. He off the field, and for how long? As Brady White drops the throw, rifles one over the middle, and in stride, he's got his man. Second down and ten. Brady White down the sideline, squeezes it into a tight window to coax it for the first down. Again, it's Clark, blasting up the middle to the end zone, and he's got a touchdown. Four-man rush. And that is an interception, dropping back in coverage is Xavier Cullens. And say Cullens gets the pick, the attempts without throwing a pick, and it sets up Memphis near midfield, and they are already down to about the 40-yard line. This will find out. Brady White, 
Floats one into space through the hands of Taj Washington. D2. This one from about 54. And this one will be no good. And will give Arkansas State great field position. Community being around them, I was like, wait, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. It just exposed me to so many incredible black people that were. Will they back out of it? Well, they came with a run blitz. And Tree Clark ran right into it. Lane Hatcher looking at a four-man rush and looking at a sack all the way back to his own 40-yard line. And if you're Memphis, you may want to think about calling a timeout here. They'll rush four. And there's the catch made by Coxie. A spin move. Wide receiver to move the chains. Only a three-man rush. It's pitch and catch for Brady White as long as they're only going to rush three. The high field goal range, right? No sack. Get the ball out. Again, the three-man rush. This time, Brady White takes off. Gets to the sideline and steps out of bounds at the Arkansas State 31-yard line. Brady White down the sideline, looking back shoulder for Taj Washington. And there's the flag. Pass interference, defense, number 37. You can make eight, nine, ten plays in a row without making a mistake. Well, they've done that. Here's Brady White lobbing to the end zone. That's a touchdown to Calvin Austin. Perfectly executed, and Memphis retakes the lead. Out of his hands. It's time. It is a blitz. White off his spot. Gets to the outside. To the sideline, throws an interception. Well, that time the pressure worked. The Travion Green picks off Brady White. What a big takeaway for Arkansas State. Here comes a blitz from Memphis. There's the catch by Adams. Uses the stiff arm, and he's right at the first down line to gain. One formation up the middle. That's where it goes to Jones. He's got nowhere to go, and it's going to be a field goal try for Arkansas State off the takeaway. Lake Groupie, 19 of 22 last season. This one from 28 yards out. And we've got a four-point ball game with 11.05 to go in the third quarter. How to play one of those guys, anyone, one-on-one, -on -one, who do you think has the best chance to you to win? How about the surprise onside kick to midfield that is corralled by Coxey. After the surprise onside kick fails, can they get a third down stop? A handoff to Watkins, and he's got the first down and more. Down at four for Memphis. And that's an easy pitch and catch first down to Todd Washington. Another straight ahead run. And Tree Clark breaking tackles inside the 10. First and goal inside the eight. To pass something like that again. Play action. Quick hit. Wide open. Coxie. Touchdown. Run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. And then you get that linebacker to fly up. That safety goes over the to the bottom of the screen to that trip set. Here comes a four-man rush. Stepping up is Lane Hatcher over the middle. And a fumble at midfield. And it looks like a Memphis recovery. Trip set, finding Tyler, just sitting in that soft zone. And Tyler's going to make a move after that catch. J.J. Russell running to the football, just kind of knocks that ball out with his arm, his elbow. The second takeaway by the Memphis defense. Play action for Brady White. He's going to tuck it under and run, and he'll break a tackle inside the 30-yard line before he's brought down. And here he is. The throw to the sideline, and he's got Sean Dykes again. Far trying to stay. Perfect. Second and goal from the seven. Brady White, end zone, wide open, blown coverage again, and this time it's Sean Dykes for the touchdown. Outfield three times. They need to take shots. Here's a shot right here. Logan Bonner going up top, jump ball, and it is wrestled away by Silvante Oliver. By the junior corner. Fly bothering these big receivers. Well, he got the job done here. He just fights for it. He gets his left hand right in between Dahu Greens. Let's see if Adam Williams can keep that from happening as he will be punting from about his own 10 yard line unless it's a fake and it is perfectly executed. How about that? With a 17 point lead, a direct snap to Joseph Dorcius. And he runs for a first down. A fifth year senior quarterback. I trust him to be good with the football and handle our football team the right way. Screen pass to Taylor. Makes 
a mad miss in the open field and then bulldozes another Arkansas State tackler. Pop out and play coverage. Look at Mo Coxie one on one. Here comes the blitz. It's picked up over the middle into the vacated area. Sean Dykes right down the hash marks inside the five. First and goal at the three. These goal posts. White extending the play. Floats one in the back of the end zone. Broken up. Don't come away with a touchdown. Instead, they'll settle for three more from Riley Patterson. Remember what was the plan coming out of half? Third down at two, and they will get the first down on the bounce outside run by Azabuki. And he still has the better part of the fourth quarter to play. There goes Lincoln Perry. He's into the secondary and called off their season. And Lincoln Perry doesn't get tested. They don't find the issue that they found. Saw State at the Memphis 23. Play action for Bonner. He's going to take a shot towards the end zone. And he airmails Adams. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense number one. Goodson called for this foul. And it's another throw to the end zone. And this one's broken up on a flag down. Pass interference. Defense, number 22. First down. Out of the one-yard line with a half the distance. And it's play action again. And this time it's caught right at the pylon by T.W. Ayers. And he snuck it in for the touchdown. Can you win on stops against guys you're going to see every Sunday in the NFL? Watkins and oh does he get walloped at about the 41 yard line aggressive with the football and try to be a superhero third down and two and that'll stop the clock at least for the moment as Dahu Green holds on to a first down catch stupid thing allow the ball go over your head only rushing three and they're trying to throw one over their head and this time Green walls off the coverage and wins the battle look at that for targeting that could have been a crown of the helmet hit it's a fourth down play. Does Green get a toe down? He did. Look in the slot, Jay Hawes. One on one contest, contested catches. Another blitz. And it's batted down at the line, and that will do it. So it'll be victory formation for Memphis with 1.45 to go. Cotton Bowl against Penn State, but this is his first ever regular season game as the head coach, and it will be a win in his debut, 37 24 is your final and boy these Memphis Tigers continue to dominate at home they were undefeated last season and since 2016 they are now 26 and 3 at the Liberty Bowl